JP, five years, how does it feel? Actually, listen, it feels like it only started yesterday, but it's great the enthusiasm they have for it within the city and county, and the numbers have grown year on year, and there's a lot of excitement, a lot of build-up, but people have been marvellous, and uh, the great thing about Limerick is that, uh, you know, they've embraced it, and it's grown year on year. And what would you want to see for TLC in another five years' time, JP? Well, you know, I, I think they've got to in excess of 20,000 people this year, which it's, it's a phenomenal number considering the number of people we have in the county and city, and a lot of people have to work, you know. But it's great that the younger people have embraced that the schools. I think if the younger people can be educated into uh, littering less or not littering at all, uh, that um, we're going places. <laughs> Helen O'Donnell, it is five years. What an amazing achievement. How do you feel? It's incredible. Five years on and the enthusiasm and the excitement is as major as ever. It's just been, it gets easier every year because more and more people, 21,000 people all over the city and county. Wow. It's quite extraordinary. And uh, even driving in here and um, seeing the signs and the buzz, you know, it's brilliant. So we'll have a very clean city and county at the end of today. And I suppose my wish is that, uh, first thing is that we would do this more regularly, that people will use their pickers and use the gear that they get uh, and clean on a regular basis and that perhaps other counties will follow. Linda, how important is TLC to the community at St Munchens? It's really, really important that we get to celebrate this day, but I have to say my lads are incredible. They're out 52 weeks of the year, but to acknowledge it and have a day to celebrate it is just fantastic. And where do you think TLC is going? It's been five years. Where do you see it in 10 years for this neighbourhood? I think, I think it's grown and grown and the fact that you, you have your pickers and it's, it's about spreading it out, it's about making sure that it doesn't, doesn't happen one day, that it does go on for the whole year, that's the key. I'd be very happy if we can keep that going for the next 10, 20 years. We love CSC! Paul, it's been five years, what does this mean to Limerick? Oh, I don't know, it's, uh, I think the numbers we get out shows how much people enjoy it or ho so shows how much people maybe uh, want to look after the city and the county and want to be part of a community. So I think we would over 21,000 volunteers wow. this year, which is amazing. It was probably the easiest year to get them as well. Probably the last few years has been probably advertising for this year. Um, and it's been great. It's uh, I think with 8,000 school kids. Um, so it's been a fantastic success. And I think hopefully now it's just becoming something Something you do if you're from Limerick, Good Friday morning, this is just something you do. TLC is about what? Cleaning up the streets of Limerick? Yeah, and like not using plastic because it ends up in our oceans and fish. And we eat fish, so we could eat the plastic. This is the future, people. This is the future. TLC, there are 12 of you.